Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another Murders at Karlov Manor draft here on the channel. We have Yaris, Roar of the Old Gods here, and this card is fantastic and one that I am going to be taking. I often talk about on this channel that taking a two-colored card as like one of your first couple picks is risky because you are less likely to be that specific color, but this format has really good fixing in green, so I don't really have to be red-green specifically. I just have to be a green deck to play this card. Obviously, it's best in red-green, where you can just play it easier. But this card is just fantastic. You can get card advantage with your face-down guys. You can flip them into huge threats. Easy pick here. There is also Murder in this pack as a great kill spell. They went this way. is some fixing. Shock is pretty good removal. Cornered Crook is another card that's nice as just a top end that lets you turn your random artifacts into card advantage. But nothing's quite as good as Yaris. I think I would probably take Murder second or maybe the Crook. They're both pretty decent. Okay, so starting off with Yaris, we get past a pack that has a pretty decent green card in Culver Ambusher. Also, it is a face down flip card, so that plays well with Yaris as well. There's Suspicious Detonation as a nice removal spell if you have some artifacts lying around. Paying five mana for this effect isn't great though. Uh, Lost in the Maze is another nice one. You play this in response to a re removal spell for like five or something. You tap three of their guys, keep one of your guys safe. Just a decent card. There's Insidious Roots, a little bit hard to use. There's Absolving Lamasu. I'm tempted to just take the Culvert Ambusher because it plays best with Yaris, and there's a lot of good cards in this pack. Lamasu is also pretty nice as a life gain flyer. And Roots. I haven't really seen this card go off. Okay, no reason to change things up now. Hard hitting question is a great uncommon. Just one mana. Bet, like hit something punches it with the question i guess they went this way so this is a card that could be good if i was trying to splash yaros currently i could still just be a red green deck though fey flight is a nice card uh protects your creature gives it evasion turns it into a real threat but i'm just going to stick with a good green card rift burst hellion if it comes back is a card that's good with yaros because if they do kill it it'll flip for free and you get a nice card okay as I said, red-green would be my preferred home. I'm not going to fight it if it's offered to me. Vengeful Tracker can do some good stuff as a two-drop that like is good against artifacts. Shock is also very good, though. You can just play three mana to kill their disguise creature, or you can just kill a, a small creature that's unflipped. I'm not sure which one of these is better. My instinct is that Shock is better, so I'm going to take Shock. So time will tell which one's better. I don't love the frantic scapegoat, but so far so good. Wow, there's a late doppelgang. I think doppelgang's really good. It just gives your deck a huge like late game angle that's almost unbeatable, which I do value. What else would I take here? A Loxodon eavesdropper. I can totally just play a doppelgang deck though. Cold case cracker, scapegoat, rune brand juggler, crime novelist. I think it's between this and the doppelgang, but doppelgang has the potential to be like the best card in my deck if I'm playing a sort of late gamey splashy deck, and that could definitely be the sort of thing I do, like a more mid rangey. I don't have a, a reason to go particularly aggressive. This card's good in any deck. And I can just splash blue or splash red. As I did say, green has a lot of good fixing. With the shock and the Yaris that I'd like to play on curve if possible, then uh, Doppelgang is well, blue is more likely to be the splash color. Also, the thing about Yaris, giving your creatures haste does lend itself a bit towards aggression. But currently my build is... Like, he also wants you to play 3-mana 2-2s, two which aren't the most aggressive. So, kind of some tension there. This is my curve. Gotta flip those around. And then Shock is definitely the sort of card you could play on turn 1. Wow, Kylox. It's funny because Kylox is the sort of card that looks like it'd be good here. Menace, Ward, Haste, 7-drop. But you don't really want to just sacrifice all your creatures, so we're not going to be taking him here. We will take a Vengeful Creeper, though. This is a card that I really do like. It's especially nice with Yaris. You want your flip creatures to flip into big things, because then if they die, they come back as beefy threats. And this is just a nice addition. Case of the Gorgon's Kiss is really hard to set up, but if you can set it up, then it does some serious work. Wow, this deck is really coming together. There's a Hedge Whisperer, definitely a nice addition. Uh, plays well, again, with these like kind of expensive disguise guys because it lets you get your graveyard filled with expensive threats. So, yeah. 
Enlisted Worm. Yeah, we're not going to splash white for this. There's Hustle Bustle, which is again a card that's pretty good with the uh, getting expensive cards into my graveyard. If I did have any things like the Hedge Whisperer that I want to use. There's also They Went This Way. I think I'm going to take Hustle Bustle though. Just give all my creatures a big buff or kind of a pseudo removal spell. I think I might wheel a They Went This Way. And just like that, we did wheel They Went This Way. Perfect. You don't want too many copies of this sort of effect. Turn three is kind of crowded with like your disguise guys. But it's a nice addition. Rubble, pelt, Ma Rubble Belt Maverick, not Pelt. Can also be okay in some decks. Here's another disguise guy that flips into, I guess, not a huge creature. Sanitation. There's also Lama Sue. Maybe I just take Sanitation. Offender at Large is a nice addition. And this guy's another one that plays well with my like expensive cards into the graveyard pretty early. Nice little controlling card. Okay, let's sort our curve a little bit more here. Whoa, this card's fantastic. We can't play it, though. It's just so far away from where we're at. Double white, double blue in a red-green deck is just too much. Um, We are still planning on splashing blue for this, though, I think. I don't think we want to splash out cold. A Killer Among Us is a sweet card. There's also Loxodon Eavesdropper. This is like a deal three. This card can come in and do some stuff, but it's kind of hard to flip in my deck. I think it's between the removal spell and the locks dawn. Maybe even this card is a potential option. Um, I think I'm just going to take the locks dawn. I like locks dawn. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to sort my curve again. So this is a three. This is a two. Two, three, three. Hmm, Kidoke. We see the breakout, which I don't think is actually very good. Uh, look at the top six, reveal a creature. You can put it into play if it's cheap, but you don't really want to ever do that. And if you didn't, you put it into your hand. So two mana to get a creature in the top six is just not very good. I think we'll just take another Loxodon. I don't mind that card. This card's good, but I'm not really a base blue deck. I'm maybe splashing Doppelgang. Suspicious Detonation. Still a card I could consider. And this is one that I like, because I'm going to have some big creatures, and if I do, then it just really, really pays me off. Innocent Bystander is also not terrible. Red Herring I don't love in this deck, but it is solid if you really care about attacking. This one's a little bit underpowered unless you have the ability to flip it, and, but we have some big guys that we can flip it with. Especially Offender at Large is very good, because he gives you a 5-4 and gives 2 Counter. So if you put one of the counters on him, he individually gets you the eight power. <sighs> I could just take the innocent bystander. Now I'm going to take bite down on crime over escape tunnel. Escape tunnel would be fine. There's also makeshift binding, which is great. But this is a nice removal spell. I already have hard-hitting question, shock. Now this is my third removal spell. This is kind of removal in some ways. And I would I would play an escape tunnel. I wouldn't play a goblin mask maker. Not really a card I'm interested in. So we've got 16 playables here. Let's check our distribution. Nine creatures, seven non-creatures. Nice. Two elephants, of course. Five sorceries, one case. Mostly green. Well, this card's pretty solid. It's a nice card to flip with uh, Yaros. Gets you some clues. I can sometimes hardcast it. I'm not going to splash this as removal. This card <laughs> does not do what I want to do, I don't think. So, yeah. I like the Crocodile. It feels like it really takes over the game at a certain point, which is nice for just a common disguised guy. that You can just play on turn three. I love the design of Drag of the Canal. Like, make a 2-2, two, two, and then if a creature died, you get a host of extra value. Okay. Mist Veil Plains, not a card I'm interested in. We'll just take the Scoundrel. 
think I'm just going to not play it though in the main. Six mana to flip it up is really a lot. You get a decent amount of value if you do that. But not interested. Expose the culprit. You can use this to like reset your guys, keep them safe. I think I'll just take the Maverick. See if I can get this to work. Yeah, Cryptex is really hard to use. You have to do this five times, you're never going to get that to work. Or very rarely, shall we say. Wow. Evidence Examiner, that's pretty crazy. Pick eight. I mean, I'm not really investigating that much. I'm just going to take the Loxodon. This is good, but... It's also like a two drop and you don't really want to splash two drops. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'll just take the Loxodon. Sure. Concealed weapon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it, but I'll take it. Ooh, the inspector. Getting a two, four that gains you a couple life for two mana is pretty good. You usually pay three mana for like a two, four reacher. I'm not going to play these, but we'll think about it. I don't actually have a huge reason to be red, I guess, other than this Yaris, which I could have splashed. But. So I guess I could have just taken, like, some of these blue cards. And now with a cryptic code, it's very tempting to just take some blue cards. Just... 3 mana, 3, 2, unblockable that you get to buy back over and over. Pretty good. There's also Torch the Witness, which is a really good removal spell, but I think Cryptic Code is better. This is worth splashing for sure. I currently only have They Went This Way as a source of fixing, though, so I might not be able to splash. Hmm. There's also Torch, which is really good. Coat's quite quite strong. You don't need to play this on curve for it to be good. You just get into the late game and you just have infinite unblockable threats. Case of the Crimson Pulse. Pretty good if you get empty-handed. I don't think that's going to happen very often, though. I think I'll just take another shock. I could have had a really good blue-green deck, I think, maybe, but this Yaris is going to make my deck very good as well if when I draw it. Hustle Bustle number two is less necessary for me. Well, Axebane Ferox. Four mana, four, four, death touch, haste, hits like a truck. It's also Nervous Gardener, which I love. I would love to take a Nervous Gardener here. Gossip is fine. Ferox is good enough to take, though. We have a lot of four drops, but that's fine. Currently, I have one, two, three, four. Kind of five. This is a really good combo with Yaris. Hmm. I have a decent number of artifacts now with these locks dons. I think they went this way is not going to do that much for me. Maybe I just need to lock up the fixing. I do have two shocks, bite down, and heart hitting question. Yeah, I'm just going to take the fixing. We get a galvanize over a sample collector. That's a fine pickup as well. 27 playables here. So I'm not planning on playing these rubble belts. I just am a sucker for this card, I guess. I will take it. I don't love concealed weapon. This card can maybe do some work. Hmm. 
Hmm. Probably don't need four of these. It's a lot of four drops. Yeah, I'm never casting a triple blue card here. Gearbane or Sample. Sure, I'll take Sample Collector. Oh, nice. Another bite down on Crime is perfect. Gives me a lot of interaction. Two, three, four, five, six interaction spells. Hustle, bustle. I have 15 creatures, but some of those are going to get cut. Ooh, another crocodile. Elf. Nice. I could have had a. I could have had a pretty good blue green deck. I think I have a lot of collect evidence, like that blue guy that just makes stuff every time you collect evidence. I really kind of played red just for the Yaris. And these removal spells are not bad at all. Sure. Okay. This is a lot of playables. We're gonna have to make some cuts. Decide whether we want to play blue, which I think we do. This is 17 lands plus these two for four blue sources for this thing and this thing. Mm-hmm. Axbane Ferox is a very expensive card here. Um Hedge Whisperer with two bite down on crimes and two V2 Gazi inspectors. Might be a bit hard to swing that one. Case of the trampled garden. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut sample collector. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three drops already. Maybe I cut Hustle Bustle. How many creatures am I at? About 14. Cut a Hustle, cut a Loxodon, and call it a day. This is also a creature. Yeah, I think this is the build I like. I kind of like the 2v2 Gazi. I like this as a 2-drop that I'm happy to play on turn 2. And I've got some really good synergies going on. So this will be the build. I am optimistic in its success. And I will see you folks in the games. Before I get to the games, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support the channel at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. Patreon is a way to directly contribute to the channel if you are enjoying my videos and gain access to some cool rewards in the process. It's like if you ate a delicious meal, or in this case watched a video that you really enjoyed, and then wanted to send a tip and in exchange gain access to some cool rewards, like if your waiter brought you an extra cookie or something like that. Anyway, Huge shout out to those who support at the credits level as well. But without further ado, let's get to the games. Welcome to round number one. We'll keep this on the draw. Three drop. We're very likely to draw our third land on curve on the draw and just go from there. Sure. Hmm. That is not an inspiring turn three play. Okay. Next turn I'll play this. I have a couple of shocks in my deck that deal really well with this card if they just start pumping mana into it. Got rid of a threat and also just a couple of disguise guys. I've got plenty of action. Wanted to keep my two for ones. 
This is a two for one because it gets you a land and draws you a card. I wanted to keep this so I could take over the late game potentially. I am planning on double blocking this guy. I thought they were going to give a death touch for a second. <laughs> okay, that's really good. Um... I'll get another. Oh, I already have one of my islands. Sure. Should I get a mountain? I'll wait to see if they pump this guy. Play Yaris. I could have played the Crocodile first. Could also just rush this guy out. Dang. Confession extracted. This card has been impressive to me. My guy Vigilance. Okay, they've got their second color. Hopefully that inspires them to tap out. They're close to dead. This is 7, this is 10. Was a rakish scoundrel. These couple lands are not looking good for me. Hedge Whisperer, sure. Hedge Whisperer, okay. I wasn't going to play this up into murder mana, though. If they had murder, I think they would have used it. Woohoo! Got the win. Wow, we ranked up into silver. I'm so proud. See you folks next round. Welcome to another round. We'll keep this on the draw. I wish I had a mountain, but you know, you can't always have one. And this is more of a mid-game card in this format anyway, because oftentimes they don't have an early drop you can kill with this because of disguised creatures. And this guy's really good in the early game because they can't pay the ward. Okay, well, now I wish I had a mountain. If I had a mountain, this hand would be infinitely better. But I killed this guy. Can't always get what you want, though.
Yep. <laughs> Too late, Mountain. Still gonna play this and grab a second Mountain, in case I draw my second Shock. Currently, I'm in not the best shape, but I'm in some shape. This thing is basically hexproof right now. I thought it was uh, evidence three, so I should have killed this thing while they were tapped out, I think. Wow, get wrecked. I was playing around like the commons. This is why killing this on my turn would have been better when I uh, realized how the collect evidence worked. Does it have reach? Yes, it does. I should have played around Mana Leak, I guess. Huge. What? I can put the counter anywhere? Well, definitely putting it on himself. I have a 2-4 reach guy. Plus Yaris. I'm not quite confident enough to start attacking with the Axe Bane. So I'm also not sure if trading it for these two guys is good for me. When I can just hang out. I got these two clues. I'm kind of up on cards, I think. I'm at least even on the board state. I think the only way I lose this game is if I like let these flyers chip away at me. Remember, I still have Doppelgang in my deck and I have 8 mana, which is almost always good enough to win. Okay... Still no attack. I don't want to make the trade is the thing. I have this hexproof blocker. Not that they want to target that, they definitely want to target Yaris. Hmm. 
But if they kill Yaris, hit me for five. I'm in bad shape all of a sudden. Dang it. Yaris has not been as good as I was hoping. He's kind of like the ideal turn four play after playing a three mana disguise guy. And that's so good that it's like worth it for the situations where they always kill him. There's Doppelgang. I'm gonna hope they don't have a counter spell here. Oh no 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 no! I, I'm not gonna target this thing. They can shuffle it away. Okay. So I can use this one time. They could have the counter unless you pay two card. But I think it's more likely that they just have dramatic accusation up. As you can see, it's pretty devastating for them. That sound is so annoying! I will send with all of them. Just made eight. 11, 14 power. I hope they don't have a board wipe. That would be bad. Gosh, I really hope that my next opponent doesn't have this minion on their team. Because this sound effect is of the wings fluttering is just brutal. I'll go for this. Even if they give all my guys minus two, minus oh, I still have this, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. They can only pay for one of them. Oh, because it gets countered for all of them? What? That's crazy. Because I guess it got countered because they tried to tap too many things that had ward. And so the whole ability got countered. They're dead, though. They block two. On my six. Boom. Got the win. Woohoo. Nice. Woo. See you folks next round. 
Welcome to what is hopefully my best hand yet. One disguised creature away from just being unbelievably good. Disguiser into this guy is pretty great. Come on, Automaton, do your thing. Okay, we'll keep land. Not an inspiring card, but I need it to play my spells out. I just don't want them to get to get value out of this, which they will if I wait, I think. I really want to kill this before they can get the collect evidence rolling, but that is now unlikely. Yeah, I was afraid of Galvanize. I should have played the Yaris to protect against that. Because then they couldn't Galvanize and their Lamplight Phoenix would still be vulnerable. Oh, gosh. I was just trying to save Yaris for when I have a disguise thing in play and I can just get some value. But I guess Yaris is just always play on turn four. They have to struggle to kill it. Wow, again. Oh, my gosh. He always dies. Okay. Somewhat dicey. If I draw a land, though, I can bite down into a hard-hitting question to get rid of this phoenix. Ah! Just going to play it safe, get rid of their two biggest guys. The Lamplight Phoenix is going to be a problem, but... I'm just going to accept that it's a problem. And I can, I can block this with my 2-4 all day long, hopefully. Oh, now my guy can't block. That's pretty brutal. Hoping for the best with my elephant. Not good. This has all gone downhill ever since they got to kill my guy with Galvanize on turn 3 or whatever it was.
No, I wanted that spell. Also, why didn't I get an island? Oh, that was so bad. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, gosh. I don't know if it really matters. I mean, it's going to matter a lot, actually. I totally forgot how this card worked. You need double blue for it to be great. Oh, okay. It wouldn't have mattered. Yep, that's how it goes sometimes. Lamplight Phoenix is really, really good. And then giving my guy suspect was pretty annoying too. Oh well, see you folks next round. Welcome to another round. We'll keep this. Gonna go for it again. Try to get a disguise guy to go with this. I guess we only have like five disguisers, but... I'll block here, I think. I do have a lot of four drops in my deck, and I could play some like bad disguisers to like get my count up. gonna play my hexproof guy currently hexproof at least I'm blocking this to play around plus two plus oh plus two plus two I guess I didn't play around them getting around ward with this attack Yeah. I thought playing around a combat trick that could kill my guy was going to be better. Now I actually have the Vengeful Creeper to go with my Yaris. Sure. 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 I take three, six, nine. That's not good. That is very good, though. They're out of cards, so I can send with this guy. Hopefully hit a land. Oh, that's even better. Now ah, Yaris is really showing his worth, taking over the game, kinda. Also, this V2 Gazi guy is crushing it for me. I did not think that much of this card before, but now I'm really happy to have it. Oh, they've got multiple goblin mask makers? Oh gosh, what are they doing?
I have shock. I've got all the tools I need. Maybe I should just play another disguise guy. I don't want to play any bad ones, though. And I don't think the guy that flips for six is that good. If you can't play him as a four mana three three death touch or whatever. I will block it all. I'm so far ahead, I can... Yeah, I'm just playing around plus two plus twos, or plus two plus ones. Trying to keep Yaris alive. Okay, they galvanize, sure. Got the win. Nice. Exciting stuff. See you folks next round. Welcome to another round. I'm going to mulligan this. I can keep this, though. And I'll ditch the creeper. Yeah, the first one, I just didn't have the ability to play my spells. Maybe we'll get aggressive with the Ferox this time. Probably gonna lead with this guy. This into Ferox and to flip this guy, make him block. Wow, that's a great draw. Red herring aggro, eh? I really want to draw this card. I'll do it. I kind of wanted to hold this guy back so I could, like, block, flip my guy. I think one card might be the max I get out of this. I'm going to have to block this turn. we got to get deal with some of the bleeding here. Plus two, plus two. Hopefully not first strike. Shock. Okay, that's that is great for me. Get our two for one in and out. And they still only have three CMC in the graveyard, so this is like hexproof. Beautiful. I'm at 12. Got some good value. They have to attack with red herring, which is going to mess with their mana this turn. I have Galvanize into Bite Down at some point. Sure. If I draw a land, I'm just going to flip this guy. Okay. Well, I did not. Could have played Cryptic Coat. That would have been better, I think. 
I don't want to just flip this guy, flip this guy. Cryptic Code, I forget, has Ward too, because it's a face down creature. Okay, sure. Okay. So they have all spells in hand. Inspector. It's a good time for the land. Perfect. Can force this to block. I'll trade locks on for the consultant, I think. I don't want them to get a big attack in on me. Oh, they galvanize, sure. Yeah, maybe flipping was bad. I could have just played galvanize cryptic coat. Or galvanize bite down. For some reason, I thought I would have a good attack with this guy and force him to jump with this. I don't want to get hit for three, but I can block it. I just should not have flipped it. Okay. That would have been a good one to draw. I'm just going to hold up my galvanize and my clue. Hopefully this works. Nice. I was hoping that would blow them out with a combat kill spell like that. Wow, they killed the face down thing. That's weird. Um, they should have just killed the one that they know can flip into something good. Um, hmm. Trying to ensure my survival here. It's probably a fine way to do that. Sure.
Gonna get an island so I can do this thing double. I'm one land away from the doppelgang of my dreams. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, that's a great draw, too. Okay, no attacks. Okay. Keep affecting the board state. Next turn, I'll play Doppelgang, and that should be good enough. Ah, uh, they forgot it had reach, I see. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, so yeah. Woo! Got there. Huge. That was awesome. This deck is sweet. Whoa. See you folks next round. Welcome to another round. We'll keep the Sanitation Automaton can find me land. I don't know if I want to trade with this. I don't know how well it worked out for me last time. V2 Gazi Inspector just got a lot better. We're playing against a lot of red-white. Feels pretty good. This guy can block here. This guy can block here. This guy's kind of a blank now, unless they have a bunch of combat tricks to force him through. Normally I just play the Loxodon. Yeah. I'll still play the Loxodon. So much more mana efficient. They clearly don't want to attack with red herring. Okay.
The red herring is a really good way to disguise combat tricks because they have to attack with it, so you're like, oh, they're just suiciding. At least if they attack like they're 2 2 into my 3 3, I'd be more suspicious. Like they're a random morph guy. Still just going to use the most efficient answer I have. Yep, figured. Oh, the goblin matchmaker doing some stuff. Holding back my 2 1. This card is ridiculous. I don't understand. Just so much damage. The creatures get huge. Well, that's a great draw. Like, what the heck? It's so good. Luckily, I'm way ahead on the race right now. And that's game. Woo! Got there. Take that. Woo. See you folks next round. Welcome to another round. We'll keep this. It is the definition of sketchy. But mulliganing is bad, as I have been told, and how I, as I have told others. And we have these two guys. I am just going to kill the maker. Maybe disrupt their curve a little bit. Another red-white deck. We're playing against a lot of those. Okay. I would have liked to trade there. They always have the combat trick, I've learned. Play careful. Play safe. That's beyond my wildest dreams. I can't believe they blocked. <laughs> I was probably going to flip this anyway just to keep the pressure on them. Oh, that's a lot of damage. But yeah, that's why I was hoping they'd block. I'll give this guy Vigilance. Not that it really matters. I should have just played my 5-5. Five five. But now they're dead to either of my threats. They don't have a blocker. Okay, there's two chump blockers. Six, seven...
They have to go block, block, block. It's very hard to imagine losing this one. I mean, they'd have to have so much stuff for this guy. They'd have to go plus two, plus oh, plus two, plus oh. Even a haster doesn't do it. Sure. Do they have me? Oh, they were close. Woo! Racing red, red, white with my teamer control deck. I mean, it's kind of a tempo deck sometimes. I guess that was a demonstration. Woo! -hoo! Let's go! Got there. See you folks in the hopefully final round. Welcome. Let's hope for a disguiser. <laughs> oh, this is a good hand, though. Oh, of course, the Sanitation Automaton. <laughs> Just as we have planned. <laughs> We've been drawing this and this guy. The combo. Okay, well, that's dead. That is not getting to live. This is the. That's why Shock is good, because you can get it like tempo advantage here. So I mill something big, this guy comes in as a huge guy. Okay, well, I don't want the land, but... That's still nice, but not as good as it could have been. If it clears the way for Disguise, then it's great. Ah, we're on the same wavelength, my friend. Amigo, as they say. Yep, we're just going to pass. Not going to play the V2 Gazi. Oh, the shock. Okay. Ah! This thing's terrifying. Well, that's a thing to do. So I can double block this guy if I want to. They only have one old card and one fresh card. But this guy's kind of my take over the game plan right now. Are they going to collect evidence? Oh, nope. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. My 2-4 can hold the ground while the 5-5s five trade. No, they drew a combat trick. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so bad for me. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Hmm. I am now in, hopefully I'll draw doppelgang mode. Three, six, seven, eight. So if I do draw it, I'll probably win. There was even a combat trick that drew them cards. It did force this to die, though. So that's some solace. Nice. Oh, I love you, Aloxodon Eavesdropper. I love, love, love you. You're a beast. Galvanize. This is a very aggressive attack. 
I do have a double block set up on it. I can also chump if they don't want to trade. Okay. I'm just going to play it slow for now. Get my second island, as we already established, a key play. They're going to start drawing some lands. I've got way less in my deck than them. I have 11, so I can cast Doppelgang for X equals 3. So every draw step is 5% to just win the game on the spot. Got another one of these guys. Oh, baby, that's a draw. I love me a cryptic coat in this situation. Maybe I'll even hit something to flip. Oh, that is something to flip. I like keeping a 2-4, just to have a nice stat line. We got this. We're on the precipice of a trophy. Ah! Yes! Oh, seven wins. Only one loss. Let's go. My first MTG Arena trophy of the set. Very exciting stuff. Let's do a post-op on the deck. Really a sweet one. I mean, we won some games by being very aggressive, but most of them were like, get that value, get those clues. Play our four drops that were really good and get the win. Yaris, obviously great, but honestly, locks it on eavesdropper was really good. And I could see an argument to just playing all four, even though it is kind of clunky. Um, we didn't have as many uh, morph guys as I kind of maybe needed. I only had one, two, three, four, five, five morphs and a cryptic coat. So six things that could kind of trigger the Yaris, but still very good. I didn't regret not playing this card, but it's very good in aggressive decks. I felt like my graveyard was already taxed. It did not need the Hedge Whisperer. This card didn't feel necessary, but I loved me my Lockstones. I didn't need this card either. This is more of an aggressive top end. They went this way was great for ramping me up. Doppelgang was sweet in that, a couple of those games, and also, like, a card that I often wanted to draw. Shock was great. Galvanize was great. And honestly, surprise all-star Vitu Ghazi Inspector. Really liked this one. I think my best morph was maybe the Undercover Crocodile. This card was really good. Disguise card. And uh, I really, I'm really still high on this Loxodon Eavesdropper. It felt very nice. By Donald Crime was nice. Hard hitting question performed. Overall, really sweet deck and a really fun one. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did make it all the way till the end of the video, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag. Hmm. I kind of want to put Yaris into there somewhere. Like maybe hashtag hashtag roar to let me know you made it all the way till the end of the video because the roar of victory. Um or, or something like hashtag detective, because we had some cool detectives. I don't know. Come up with a cool one. <laughs> I was thinking about a cool one with Doppelgang, but I can't think of one. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you learned something, maybe. Uh, maybe you had fun just watching the ride. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time.